All praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wabrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth. No matter where, whom they may be or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. All right. I'm going to jump right into this lesson with the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. It reads this, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So, in this present age, we are not in our rest. And as a man, you naturally want to have your own. You naturally want to be at peace. You naturally want to have your foundation set. You want to be a provider. You know, you want to have everything in order as a man. But currently, we can't be too invested in this world because this is not our time. And there will come a time where this society will come to a very, very um, dark time. Things will shift into a 180 degree. And all the comfort will be taken from us. So all the things that people invest in right now, what will these people do when they don't have it no more? Such as money will collapse, right? So what does that say for people who are under the radar? People who get paid under the table, right? You have an EMP attack that could happen, shut down the whole entire grid, right? Which means no cell phones, no tablets, no iPads, no electricity, no lights, okay? And then for some who may have you know, certain things put to the side for emergencies, that's limited, okay? Society's totally about to transition, all right? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So we are not at our rest right now, okay? And the reason that we are not in our rest, well, it goes back to Jacob and Esau. It goes back to the blessings. And our blessing is not at this current time. And on top of that, because of our sins, our sins have brought us to a low place at this current time. Uh, let's touch on Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 19. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord our power all these things unto us? So here it is. In these days, you may have our people question on why the Lord did this to us and we give them the answers the reason is because we went against him Marie Ford then shall thou answer them like as ye have forsaken me and serve strange gods in your land so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours so seeing that we forsaken we have forsook the Lord the Lord has forsook us and has put us in a debased position in a place in this world where yes yeah, some of us may do better than others but overall as a people we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge thereof okay so it's highly um important that we bring out these scriptures so that we can answer questions so that we can edify you know we really do want to teach our people it's just that our people they don't care to listen but the reason why the lord did this unto us is because we went against him and we've been given over to a curse so let's stay in the book of jeremiah <clears throat> matter of fact let's leave jeremiah let's touch on deuteronomy because it was told to us that if we abide it by the will 
of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shine Righteousness that we be blessed. So here it is, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So we're not above all nations on the earth right now because we did not diligently keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And this proves that we're not in the new covenant because if we were in the new covenant, we would be above all the nations seeing that we would observe all the commandments in perfection. We can't keep that right now. We can't keep the law, statutes, and commandments in perfection right now, which is proof that we are not in the new covenant. Okay, which that's a lesson for another time. Okay. So our people being rebellious, the Lord has placed us at the bottom and we are under the curse now. All right. For our foolishness. Let's touch back on the book of Jeremiah. Okay. I'll grab it over here in this other Bible. I want to say, actually, it's Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sought as children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. So our people are very wise when it comes to doing wrong. But when it comes to doing the right thing, it's like our people become stupid. They become dumbfounded. They become stuck. They don't know what to do. Okay, so that's why we're not at the top right now. That's why this is not our rest right now. Okay, here it is. Esau in his own present world, he can barely rest. Okay, and all of this is based off of our own rebellious ways. Not only the Northern Kingdom, but the Southern Kingdom as well. All of our people. Okay, when you look at the Northern Kingdom, all of their kings were wicked. When you look at the southern kingdom, it was hit and miss. Overall, all of our people fell. All of our people did wrong. All of our people are guilty. And that's why it's time now that our people turn back to the Heavenly Father and repent. Hosea chapter 13 and verse 9. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine help. So now is the time that we turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who was our help. And we destroyed ourselves, man. So the reason why the Lord did this to us is because we destroyed ourselves. And now is that moment in, in time where you need to look in the mirror, if you're new to this, and consider your ways, ponder, and turn back to your power. As a Hebrew Israelite, if you're a Negro, Latino, or Native American, according to Agnet, or paternal relations. It's about your father's genetic line, okay? Who you are through your father's line, not based off what you look like, okay? And if you don't look like a Negro, Latino, or Native American, if you cling unto this truth, well, there's a good chance you're an Israelite. If you, if you agree with the doctrine, you are an Israelite, period. We'll just say that, okay? We ain't gonna bring no confusion, okay? So let's go to the book. I'm not going to make this lesson long. <clears throat> I'm going to wrap it up with this. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 6. Actually, let's jump back. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the power and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. And that's what our people have done. And that's why we're in this position now. Verse 6, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the power to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemy. So because we basically angered the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he gave us over unto our enemies. Okay, so now again, it's time for us to repent and turn back to our Lord. So I'm going to go ahead and close it there, and I'm going to give all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Baha Shumwa Rakakwadash Shalom.